Hi, this is Michelle Yamazaki from Tool Farm. If you've recently upgraded to After Effects CS 5.5, you have this daunting task of moving all of your plugins over. Now, most of your plugins from After Effects CS 5 will work fine in CS 5.5. However, most don't have installers specifically for CS 5.5 yet. You don't have to wait. There's an easy workaround for this, and it's a trick that will save you time because you won't need to reinstall all of your plugins again. I'm going to walk you through how to make aliases of your plugins so that they'll show up in After Effects CS 5.5 and you can get back to work right away. First, we'll need to go to the Applications folder and you want to open both After Effects CS 5 and CS 5.5. Hopefully you haven't blown everything away in CS 5. If you have, I guess you're starting over. But for the sake of this tutorial, what we need to do is open the After Effects CS 5.5 folder and go under Plugins. Create a new folder called after Effects CS5 plugins. I'm going to have two finder windows open here and windows will be a little bit different, but I'm sure you can figure it out. And what I'm going to do is open After Effects CS5 and open the plugins folder. Now I can't really just go ahead and make an alias of the entire folder. Notice in the plugins folder for CS55, I have effects, extensions, format, and keyframe. I do not want to copy those four folders. I basically want to select the others here. I'm command clicking everything that I want to keep, everything that I want to bring over to CS55. I'm selecting here. I believe that's the last one. No, it's not the last one. Okay. And now I am control clicking and going to select make alias from the pop up menu going to make a whole bunch of aliases and you'll know they're aliases because they have this little arrow going into the folder. Keep everything selected and drag it over to this AECS5 plugins folder that is within the After Effects CS55 folder. So I'm going to twirl that closed. There's one more step here and that is known as the Media Core folder. On my hard drive, I'm going to click Library, Application Support, Adobe, and I'm going to look for the Common folder. And in that common folder, I'll have a folder called plugins. And in that plugins folder, I'll have several versions of After Effects, depending on how many I've had installed on this machine. Now, this is a little bit easier because if you look in your media core folder for After Effects AS55, it's empty. It should be if it's a clean install of After Effects and you haven't already installed plugins. What you can do here is go to your media core folder for After Effects CS5, click media core, control click, and choose make alias. I'm going to switch views here. What I want to do is drop this Media Core folder alias inside the Media Core folder for After Effects CS55. All right, we are good to go. I'm going to be launching After Effects CS55 here. As it launches, you should see all of the plugins loading as you normally would with CS5. And there they are. So now, after you launch After Effects CS55, if you apply your effects to a solid or to anything else, you'll see all of your effects are still there. And there you are, an easy way to get all of your plugins moved over to CS55 without reinstalling. Thanks, and please come back to toolfarm.com for all of your plugin needs. This is Michelle Yamazaki, signing off. Bye.